If you don't want your Merch by Amazon account to get closed or terminated, you definitely need to watch this video. I'm going to show you the best software which allows you to search for trademarks from start to finish. You can put your whole listing in there and it will tell you exactly which trademarks you should not be using and it will also tell you the keywords that Amazon does not allow you to use. You can literally scan your whole listing for potential trademark infringements and remove them before your account gets closed. I'll also talk to you about how you can search for copyright so like i said guys this video is going to help you keep your account safe i decided to make this video because a lot of people have had their accounts closed lately and i really don't want any more people to suffer due to silly little things that they can actually avoid and not fall for and the great thing is everything that i'm going to show you in this video is completely free so you have no excuses right let's dive right in right so the tool that i'm going to be using today is merge dominator which is a free tool currently we've developed it in-house and it's free for you guys to use it literally has everything but in this video i'm going to specifically talk about the trademark feature that we have so if you haven't got it you need to go to google and type merch dominator and go to this link right here and you come to this page if you don't have an account click on sign up follow the instructions you'll receive an email to verify your email it might fall into spam so make sure you check there as well and once you've verified you'll be able to access the tool then go ahead and log in and as you can see we've got the trademark feature over here just click on trademark search there are three types of checking for trademarks the first one is basically trademark search by trademark registered and the way it works is you just select your trademark office select the nice class so we're going to select 25 select trademark type in this case we're going to select word we almost always select word because this is equivalent to text trademark text and we can check for filed or registered if we're looking for only registered marks then we select the registered only and we can check the registration date range however we like it will go as far as 1st of september for example up to the 29th of december click on search and we have 211 registered trademarks in class 25 following all of these filters now you can click on every single trademark here add it to watch list we're going to discuss the watch list in a bit or you can view the trademark the uspto go ahead to goods and services and as you can see it's class 25 and then you can check whether it's shirt or not etc etc now that's the first way the second way is by keyword so let's say you're working on a t-shirt that has to do with anime for example so let's say you're searching for best sellers and you find this design right here or this design and a lot of the best sellers are usually trademarks right and let's say you're searching on amazon this is typically the screen that you'd normally find let's check this one right here and we want to know if this design is trademarked or copyrighted well the first thing is if you're going to use common sense jeff dunham is a comedian but let's say you didn't know this name you basically copy this name right here and paste it on google and it will tell you exactly so this is the best way to search for copyright guys we don't want to use names of celebrities names of nfl teams names of universities names of brands etc etc just use common sense and let's say you would like to search for this particular trademark on our trademark by keywords we just paste it right here we can select either phrase match exact match or broad match and we click on search and as you can see it popped it up right there plus 25 we're not able to use it and also click on it check all the details here check it on uspto check the goods and services yes it's for t-shirts you're not allowed to use it and you can also add it to watch list we'll discuss that in a bit but the best feature that we have so far so good right a lot of people are going to say adnan i don't want to have to isolate keywords and put them one by one and check it's going to take too long is there another way yes and i believe we are the only tool that has this feature so we go to trademark by product and you put the asin of that product or if we have it in our database you can literally just go to that product in our database and click on the trademark for example this is jeff dunham's design we click on more info and we go to trademark check right here click on it and it will literally scan for every possible trademark in that description it will take the whole thing brand bullet points title description etc and as you can see it popped it up for you right there and it even knows which trademark office to check for and for which nice class to check for based on your parameters that you selected so if you're searching for best sellers in the united states based on t-shirts it will literally do the whole filtering for you so we'll click on jeff dunham and it will take us to that trademark right there if there are lots of trademarks that contain jeff dunham and you have a list you can always click on exact match 
match and it will only show you Jeff Dunham as an exact match. An example might be, so if we add Nike, for example, like so, and we didn't have it on exact match, we'll click on search. As you can see, it added the keyword Nike. So we'll click on Nike. There's loads and loads of trademarks. We only select registered. Again, search, loads of trademarks. But if we only want to show exact match, we'll just click on this one right here and it will show you exact match. But first we have to click on Nike, right? Exact match, it only shows you Nike, as you can see. Now, the beauty of it is, guys, let's say we'd like to take the ASIN from here, right? So we take the ASIN and we go here, we enter the ASIN, make sure that it's in the United States and it's T-shirt. Just make sure that you're entering the right parameters for that ASIN. So let's say that ASIN is in the United States and is a T-shirt. Just make sure that the selection is correct and then click on load Amazon product. As you can see, it loaded it right away. And then all you can do is select the parameters that you'd like to search by and then click on search. It will take a few seconds, not even a few seconds. It will literally take a split second and it will come up with all the data for you. Guys, this is very powerful and you could literally do it with any other design, right? So let's say we'd like to check for this one right here. Try and find the ASIN. There's the ASIN. Put it over here. Click on load Amazon product. There it is right away, guys. Again, click on search. Split second. And it came up with every possible trademark that the system can find. But what you have to make sure that you don't do is don't take everything for face value, right? So things like in, it's a common keyword, but because it's exact match, we wanted to present it to you. Boss is a trademark name, right? Be careful with that. What? You can use it anytime because it's a normal keyword. Rock, I'm sure you can use it. Let's try a different example that is clearly trademarked. This one has guess. Okay, let's check this one. We copy the ASIN, paste it here, load Amazon products. As you can see, it loaded it right away and then click on search. It will just update it for us. Guess. There you go. Let's do this one. Star Wars. Again, just get the ASIN, put it right here, load Amazon products. It loads all of the descriptions, etc. Click on search. There you go, guys. Walt Disney World, Walt Disney, Disneyland, Star Wars, everything. This is insane. There's literally no other tool that can do this in the market. You know what the alternative is? It's basically entering every single keyword manually in another tool and checking it's just too long. And I'm sure it's not the best use of your time. And currently we're offering Merch Dominator completely free. Anybody can use it. Anybody can try it out. And when we come out with our pricing plans, we'll have a fantastic deal. So make sure you get in now, get in while it's free, while we are testing it so that when the pricing plans come out, you will get the best deal possible. Now, let's say you'd like to add this one to watch list. Just click on it, add it to watch list and you go to TM watch list like this. And as you can see, it is not safe to use. So anything that has a registered trademark is not safe. Anything that has a trademark that is filed, ended or expired is safe to use. So for example, I put my name, Adnan, it is safe to use. And this one is for filtering. So let's say you have hundreds of trademarks that you're tracking. You can just type the name like so, and it will filter it for you. You can also filter by trademark office, etc. And let's say you'd like to add a new watch list. You can add it over here. So you can put brand, I don't know, something like that. And we do it for the USPTO. And as you can see, because it is registered in USPTO, it says it's not safe. Let's check the word hello. Yeah, it has 10 registered trademarks. It says it's not safe, but with common sense, it's fine to use it, right? Let's check Addy. Yeah, you can use it because it's not registered anywhere. It's only filed twice. Now, this is just one part of the puzzle. Now, the best way to check for trademarks while you're creating your listing is actually using the listing creator. I'm going to show you this in another tutorial. So let me know if you'd like me to make you this video. Let me know down below in the comments where I'll be able to show you how to create a listing from start to finish, how to check for trademarks for that listing, how to check for keywords that are not allowed to be used in that listing, and also the keywords that Amazon does not allow you to use. So yeah, let me know down below in the description. If you'd like to get access to the tool, like I said to you, it's completely free at the moment. Just go to MerchDominator.com and get free access right now. And if you guys need a Merch by Amazon account or you know someone who needs one, I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description. You'll get it within 24 hours of purchase. I'll also leave you below a crash course for Merch by Amazon along with 200 plus profitable print-on-demand niches, a link to check out my full Ultimate Merch by Amazon course that's helped hundreds of people crush Merch by Amazon. And if you guys don't have time to do niche research, I'm going to leave you a link for my niche research service. I hope you got some value out of this video. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment down below with your questions or suggestions, turn on the notifications, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.